Well, if you're looking at a furry friend or two to your family, definitely want to check out today's guest. Yes, here in today's Forever Family with Ruby's Rescue and Retreat, we have volunteers Lisa Dunn and Lisa Wilson back with the most adorable puppies. That one's going to fall asleep on you. I yeah. know, yeah, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be okay. It's not often that we hold our guests, but in this case, <laughs> it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Let's talk about who we have here. We have Cole. He's an eight-week-old male, purebred Australian Shepherd. And then the red one is Mary. So their name is Miracle. And nice. they've got a very interesting story, I hear. They do. Their mother came from a breeding facility. And after five years, they were going to give her up because she wouldn't breed. Aww. So the night before, she actually had four puppies. She had four puppies. Two were stillborn and two, um, they took two. No, they oh. took them to to uh, bottle feed them through the night and they didn't make it. Aww. So that was Friday and Saturday morning she arrived at She's Ruby's Rescue. She's very nice. She's very nice, yeah. I promise. Okay. <laughs> so she arrived Saturday morning at Ruby's Rescue. Their mom, Chrissy, is a black tri Australian Shepherd. And um, when Jean Ann went out to feed them on Wednesday morning, surprise, she we had, had two, more. two puppies, oh so goodness. that's why they're Miracle, wow. Mary, Mary yes. and Cole. Let's talk a little bit more about sort of the overarching view of what you guys do and how you do it there at Ruby's Rescue. Yeah, so Ruby's Rescue is out of McLean, Illinois, and um, mostly they take in um, dogs that have, um, that have been found um, that are stray or that need adoption and Jean Ann Hurt and Timothy Christensen run the, the best facility there is. There's, it's grown in the past years and it's just a wonderful place for people to rescue dogs and be rescued by dogs. I would uh, guess that it's not often you have purebreds who come, yeah. come through Well actually facility. we do have quite a bit. Do you? From breeding facilities mm. we get labs we get Yorkies, we get, um, lately there's been an influx of labs, and I think there's, is there one coming tomorrow? Some or poodles, golden. standard poodles. Standard oh, golden, nice. goldens, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, I know there are people who are, this their hearts is are melting. You, you are like the dog <laughs> whisperer. <laughs> yes. Jeez, and then I get feisty over yeah. here, <laughs> who's just ready to play. Well, lots I could say, but I will Give not. Her. <laughs> What's the process that people go through for... Uh, sort of matching with a dog and going through the adoption process? Well, there's, um, there's a website, or you can go on Facebook to Ruby's Rescue and Retreat Incorporated, and there is a application. It's online. You will receive um, a feedback that it has been submitted, so you know. Um, right now, for these puppies, they're only taking applications tomorrow. And there's, her, there's their mom, Chrissy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, they're only ap taking applications since there are only two and they'll be in very high demand. I can imagine. Um, what if we steal them both? <laughs> if you steal them Sorry, both Jean. and you give us $500, uh, for right now, these puppies are going to, um, their adoption fee is 500 and that's all shots, microchip. They just got spayed and neutered yesterday, okay. so it's a really good deal to go through rescue. Plus, you save a life and make room for another dog to come in. And I love what, um, your organization and that you really take pride in finding the right home for the dog because you want to make sure that they're going somewhere where they're going to be loved and cuddled and played with. <laughs> And we don't mind to get a dog back. It just means that wasn't the right fit. The next one probably will be. Well, nice. Yeah. Okay, we got to talk about pictures with Santa. <coughs> oh, because yep. you got something fun happening. Yep. Super fun. On December 8th from 1.30 to 4.30, anybody can bring their dogs, either their personal dogs they have or rescue alumni to come out and take a picture with Santa and shop around for some things that we have for sale that all benefits the rescue. And it's super popular, a great day, and usually it's just a nice time to see all of our alumni. It's here. one of the few times that you can go out to rescue and actually see the rescue because mm -hmm. it is at Take their personal tour. residence. Mm -hmm. Take a tour, meet all the dogs. Um, it's it's very popular. Well, wow. we and these Sam, two are the pictures go are always amazing. I'm shocked. Sure yeah, they I are. I, Even I'm these guys would yes. take good pictures. Hoping I'm not doing <laughs> to our viewers what I have just done to this dog. I know. Put him right to sleep. Look at him. So, um, Safe. I mean, Oh, my word. Hey, they've got a great Facebook group page that you have to join to learn more about all of the animals they have up for grabs there, looking for their forever families, which we will have on our Facebook page. And, um, yeah. Let's, let's not. Stay tuned to that.
Just hold on to the dog. That's the only There's thing that matters. Santa. CILiving.tv <laughs> is where you can go for uh, details on Ruby's rescue and get the process started <laughs> with these two adorable puppies, one of which is a character and one of which is very much asleep. <laughs> Coming up <laughs> on the CI stage, we have another performance <laughs> by Urbana High School's a cappella groups. And be sure to watch and win for your chance to win today's CI giving prize as a puppy. I'm kidding. <laughs> there he is. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.